So that's number seven, so that levels up Taric. So now Taric attacks, they can't take damage or die. I'm gonna say y'all can't take damage or die. And then we also rally again. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Tarek Shivana, our second random champion combination here on this casual Friday. Uh, first uh, time ever doing this. Phil Spicer with Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much there, Phil. Bringing that support. I appreciate that. Our second sub of the day. And yeah, that's what we're doing today. We're, we we uh, randomly pick champions. If you didn't watch the Zed Darius video, you can watch the beginning of that. That's where we randomly picked our champion combinations. And, uh, you know, this was uh, one that we got. Tarek Shavana. So here's our deck. We're going to be curving out. We got Fleet Feather Tracker on one. Uh, Protector and Mountain Goat on two. Protégé on three. And then Shivana, Tarek on four with Screeching Dragon five. So as you see, not like tons and tons of units. Our units are going to be pretty valuable. Lots of spells, though, because Tarek enjoys having spells. Plus, there's just a lot of good spells. So we're going to be having the Golden... Since we're in Demacia with Tarek, we get to play Golden Ages. We get the combo of uh, Tarek with Golden Ages. If we can uh, play that on a Tarek, we get to Rally and then have... Tarek copy it over during the attack means we get to rally again and that could be awesome with a card like Shivana trying to you know get those attacks getting those plus one plus ones trying to get that 12 damage because then it can get plus two plus twos when it's leveled up and so it can get very large with multiple attacks then we'll also have Zenith Blade Zenith Blade is a card that's great with Shivana you know Shivana's gonna be really large let's give it overwhelm also really good with Tarek because if you put a daybreak Zenith Blade on Tarek, you draw your second Zenith Blade, and then you copy it over, and it still counts as being Daybreak, so you get to draw the third Zenith Blade. So it can be like a draw two, which is really nice. One Bright Seal Formation at the top end, because this card's pretty amazing. So we just got one of those chilling up there. And that's kind of the whole deck. So here we go. Let's go play some Tarek Shivana. We'll go play five games over in Master's Rank. Let's see how we do. Okay, we got Draven Ezreal for our first deck. So hopefully the size of our units are going to be good against Draven Ezreal. I'm going to get rid of a Hush and one Screeching Dragon. I'll keep the Sharp Sight. Sharp Sight's always good against uh, Ezreal. Hush is pretty decent against both Ezreal and Draven, though, so I could see keeping that. So I'm kind of worried about with us not having that many units that we could, especially like round before round three, we don't have that many units. Like we could just like not play anything the first three rounds. So it could be that our deck's kind of too slow that way, but we have, okay, there we go. Perfect draw. So let's say we have uh, 12. We have 12 units that cost three or less. So we have some. The party has arrived. I'm just gonna pass. Yeah, I could like sharp sight and all that kind of stuff. I'm just gonna pass. Time for a true display of skill. I'm ready to shine. Let's do this. this is my opponent. Okay, so one ravenous flock doesn't kill protege still, but they can have. Okay, I was gonna say they can go like spinning axe for having flunk. So doing two different random champion things. At least for a little bit. We'll see how it plays out. So we can go Screeching Dragon, but I think I want to... I think I may just play Zenith Blade. Because Screeching Dragon, then I don't have any kind of other protection available yet. But Zenith Blade just replaces itself, right? Draws draws the Zenith Blade out of the deck. And now we have, like, this good 3-6 Challenger. 
run them through. Hardly fair. Draven. So we still get to kill Draven. All right, save our spell mana. Okay, let's see what else we got. There's a Shivana. So if I want to play Zenith Blade, Shivana. If I play Zenith Blade first, then Shivana, that's seven mana out of three left. If I just play Shivana, I have six mana. I think we're just playing Shivana. Dragon blood, Demacian heart. Hmm, that's too bad. Stop. So I'm not gonna be playing the Golden Ages like I wanted to this round. Suffer my fury. Got lots of creative cards over there. So that's six total damage going at um, going at Shivana. Sharp sight will. Keep Shivana alive. So they only have five cards we don't know about. Okay, still have five cards we don't know about. Noxion Guillotine. Yeah, so if I fight there, then they don't get they don't get their copy of Noxion Guillotine back, but I still rally. A second Noxion Guillotine. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, that's. I guess that's how it's going to be. Okay, so we got two Noxian Guillotines out of their hand. That's pretty big. So they discarded that Noxian Guillotine. That's pretty good. So they can... They can discard another card here. But at least he'll you know, get rid of the Spinning Axe and just get rid of a random card in order to kill the Screeching Dragon. Okay, choosing not to. Witness my true power. Okay, Dragon Shivana leveled up. Just tacking like that for them down to seven. I think so. I think I want to just create this strafing strike for free. You know, I could threaten doing a lot more damage. But they can't really play anything unit wise now with the strafing strike. Okay, so that's going to do six damage. Let's go ahead and repose. Eric four form. This could go wrong if they have something that does another point of damage. So they discard the Ezreal, so that's five. No additional point of damage. All right, well, we got an Ezreal out of their hand. That's awesome. Huh. Okay, well, that's great getting Ezreal out of their hand. Oh, no, the worst card in our deck to draw, the Zenith Blade, before we just draw it for free. Worst card in the deck to draw. Strength and grace. 
Beauty in the play. Okay. So they know about this Zenith Blade. I'm gonna go ahead and just play that here. What's my plan? Take eight down to six. They're at seven. I should probably just give that to the Screeching Dragon again. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I should just give it to the Screeching Dragon again. Okay, then obviously my two four challenges, the 8-8. Eight, eight. I have the two lethal attackers. And I don't think there's any, like, card for them to draw that takes out two things. Ooh, this is going to be tough. Sejuani, always tough for your Demacia Challenger type stuff, Pumped Bell type stuff. Good looking hand. I think I want to go Shivana plus Zenith Blade. Good draw. On four. So don't need to use the, the Bright Seal Protector there, because it could be a waste of a barrier. Or not. Who's on top of the bounty board today? I think my plan is just to let this happen, and again, next round... Oh, I guess if I, if I go Shivana Zenith Blade next round, I'm not daybreaking the Zenith Blade, am I? Hmm. I am more than I seem. They are nothing. So they want, like, Monkey Auto to kill the Mountain Goat? Doing a good job with plunder. It's a really good make it rain. Dead men tell my tale. Surely do. Let's grow this Shivana with all the fury and stuff. Do, 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 do. So I'm not gonna play two drop because they could play. Oh, that thing's gonna do six damage. I was thinking it was gonna do five. That's gonna do six because of this card. Oh, I should have played protector, but. Mmm, oh. I missed. <laughs> Oh, that thing does six damage. That's really too bad. That's really too bad. Could have protected against that a couple of different ways, but you know the easiest way would have been just play the Bright Steel Protector, and now especially drawing another Bright Steel Protector, really wish I would have done that. Is that sixth point? I was thinking that it was gonna be, you know, I was just doing it in my in my head. I'm thinking it's five. I'm looking at my cards and look up and I see that powder keg. I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot about that powder keg. Oh, 
the good news is we killed two gangplanks. I, my plan, of course, was to kill the monkey idol, but then they play a gangplank, and then I got to play, then I got to kill that thing. Pain is nothing. So that's like the good news. My shield is yours. Two gangplanks gone. Bad news, they still have a Sejuani and they've drawn way too many of their champions for me. I wish I would have gemmed the Screeching Dragon first and then played the Protector, but yeah, I kind of wish I would have done that. <laughs> they cannot decide. All right, there they go. So down to six. Break their spirits and their souls. It's tough. It's tough because if they do have, if they do have a way to frostbite. You know, if they have a warning shot, it's basically just warning shot, right? So they've already played two make it rains. They've played one warning shot already. It's just they have another one. It's pretty bad, but I mean, I guess it. Okay, good. Okay, very good. Good thing we open attacked, killed that Shivana before warning shot. With that. Damage? Hmm. Okay, we got them down to three. Tarek, oh, why didn't I wait for the Golden Ages one round? Oh, how do they have the second Sejuani also? How do they have two Sejuanis and two... Come on, two Sejuanis and two Gangplanks? A rare jewel. Stand and fight. Man, that is not fair. Oh, so we gotta do that just to stay alive at two. <laughs> and they stole Golden Ages from me. Wow. Outrageous. Why are we facing Anivia more? Anivia is unbeatable. Do not like facing this deck. Do not like our chances here. I'm not going to use Pillcast Cade to save Fleet Feather Tracker. I could I could wait till next round, play Fleet Feather Tracker, and then also have Pill Cascade back up. But I'm not going to be doing that. I'm just going to be playing the Fleet Feather Tracker. I'm going to be waiting on Pill Cascade till later on for like the Shivana Screeching Dragon and stuff. So um, even if they had to do like, you know, Vile Feast on the Tracker, I'm not going to save it. It's just not a very valuable card. It dies to everything. Our best chance of winning this if our opponent isn't here, if they don't show up. Oh, now they're here. <laughs> How they were used all the time last time. I'm ready. 
ready to shine. Okay. Rude. We were going to be able to draw two. Guess that was my plan. It was a pretty good plan. Okay, at this point, I might save. So then now Screeching Dragon doesn't have to kill the 1-1. One -one. This is not great against Rekindler, but let's see how this Anivia attack at me. is always so difficult to try to play around. Just everything about the deck is difficult to play around. This Golden Ages could be the perfect draw. It could be. I have the mana to Taric, Golden Ages, and Strafing Strike this round. And that's kind of my plan is those three. Not gonna put else anything else out into ruination. You know, if they would have spent mana under ruination, you know, then we could do stuff, but since they didn't spend mana, we just go to the next round. Come on in. Still have ruination. My shield is yours. You just don't let me play anything. But if we would have had the mana for Taric, Bright Seal, Protect, you know, like, we would have killed them. If they would have cast Ruination right there, we would have killed them. Should probably be, like, some harsh winds and stuff like that. Is what I would expect. They're in a really, really rough spot. They just haven't done anything over the last, like, you know, three rounds. Round seven, eight, nine, they just didn't do anything. Yeah, they gotta spend a lot of mana like that. I would put them to one. sure how we lose this game. Don't worry. I am here. I mean this this should just be a win. Five mana. Yeah. Alright, two and one. Thankfully no rekindler or anything like that. Had the quest to win games with Shivana anyway, so that's kind of good to have the random Shivana deck. Yeah, we finally beat Anivia. Need heavy hitters. 
What do we got? Aurelia Azir? That's a good hand against Aurelia Azir. We needed heavy hitters, and we needed... Um, we need them to not do anything, like, at all for a lot of the game. Okay, so card number four is a champion. Card number four is a champion. It's either Aurelia or Azir. Azir, I cannot challenge and kill. Aurelia, I could. If it's Aurelia, they probably want to wait till after combat to play Aurelia. So now it's either card two or three. It was two, and it was Aurelia. No, Shapestone, come on. Well, it's gonna be a lot of damage. That was just a I that was a bad use of single combat right there. I have like the my two one tracker to challenge. That was, that was a bad use of single combat by me. Yep. Should have blocked before single combat. Yep, yep, yep. The reason why I did it right there, which obviously like I, like I've been saying, that was not a good play by me. The reason why I did make that play was didn't want them to be able to attack with I mean, they probably wouldn't attack with it really anyway. Yeah, you know, I want to. I want to have like the least amount of attackers possible. But yeah. Then. Okay, so they just have one card. If it's not a, like if they don't have another champion, they're not going to win this game, right? They're going to need their champions to win, especially Aurelia. Even Azir. Like I think we can handle Azir. Aurelia is going to be the problem. Azir is almost leveled though. I guess now Azir is leveled, so maybe Azir is a problem also. I'm ready to shine. And there's always a balance. No further. The mountain endures. So Fleet Feather Tracker is going to take that out. Alright, rehealed the goat. So the goat can block again. Alright, do they have Aurelia? Okay, it's Azir. I think we can handle Azir. I think we can. What are you, you're a 5-5? Five five? We need like a 6-5. When rhythm takes place, there's no time for fear. Further. We're up five, six, seven. 
All right, so we're good. We got this. So that's number seven, so that levels up Taric. So now Taric attacks, they can't take damage or die. I'm gonna say y'all can't take damage or die. And then we also rally again. Never submit. And that's game. Got him. All right, three and one with Tarek Shivana. Only lost that crazy game to multiple Sejuanis. Oh, this is our nemesis. This is what we lost to the first time. They did have mul they had two Gangplank, two Sejuani right away. Also, were able to um, turn on Plunder right away. Also, right, like you know, with warning shots and make it rains, the double, you know, multiple make it rains. Nice. Hamster says, right now I'm laddering with Lux Karma, punishing the meta too. Good job, Lux Karma. That sounds awesome. Good old Karma Lux. All right, so we're taking a point of damage anyway. We can't stop the plunder. We don't need to block, so we'll have the protector next round. So we can kill the Crackshot Corsair. They could still make it rain. Good. I mean, they still can. Oh, parlay. Bleh. So yet again, first two rounds to... Plunders enabled. Nothing I could do about it. Break their spirits and their swords. My shield is yours. All right, I'm getting aggressive. Really hope they don't have another one of those. Just just take the damage, please. It'll be half their life total. There we go, down to eight. Don't ask where it's from. Ask how much. For silver I talk, for gold I lease it. Oh yeah, they had triple harpoon also the first game, that's that's true. I had an awesome Shivana that they got to they had powder cake harpoon to kill it. So they needed all six points. Even though it just killed a just killed a gangplank that same round. I'm not greedy. My friends though. You look pretty greedy. Not gonna lie. So I don't have wonderful attack. Like, so, I can open attack, but I think I'd just play another Screeching Dragon. Even though they can Shivana... Or, sorry, Sejuani. They can sh Sejuani. Probably enabling Harpoon right there. Harpoon's not ideal, so it takes five. Doesn't look too good for us right now. Okay. Like, if they have champions, which you'd have to assume they have champions left, they have champions left. It's not going to be good for us. Strength in grace, beauty in the play. Yeah, 
and that in particular is the best possible champion. Alright, so Gangplank Sejuani is just too good for us. They just have too many harpoons. Alright, but there we go. Still another winning record for our um, you know, random champion deck over in Master's Rank. Can't be mad at that, but just a couple of great hands from Gangplank Sejuani holding us back. Especially just Sejuani, you know, like when you're trying to play, you know, these kind of cards, Sejuani is just perfectly positioned, especially for how easy they were leveling up at Sejuani. Both games, they had, you know, like, Plunder enabled on one, Plunder on two. Uh, they had, and like I said, they had, like, you know, so, th so they were level up Sejuani super fast because of that. And then we saw, what, five, um, five Harpoons and six Champions in the two games. Just too much for us. All right, but that's going to be it here, though, for Tarek Shivana. Great showing uh, besides that. We'll take a winning record in Masters rank every time, and especially with just random champs thrown together. I think our deck performed really well. I think it did. I think that the um, you know Golden Ages with the Dragons was pretty awesome, and you know Zenith Blade with the Dragons was pretty awesome as well. It's tough trying to defeat um, Sejuani. Uh, I have single combat Hush. Could have like Concerted Strike. Like Concerted Strike is going to be better against Sejuani because you can have multiple things strike it. Um, you know, maybe, maybe that's, you know, maybe this needs to be like two single combat, one concerted strike or, you know, two and two and no hush, you know, that kind of stuff. But anyway, that's going to be it here though for Tarek Shavana. So as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.